Different video, kind of a disgusting one. Uh, a little bit, nothing to do with tech. I won't be doing this all the time. It's just um, a little frustrated with a little product. Uh, so when I moved into my new apartment, there was a roach problem. Um, it wasn't that terrible. Um, but I wanted to get rid of whatever the little roaches I saw were. I used uh, combat gel uh, for a little while, and that worked fine. But I decided to use the combat bait stations. Uh, there was like a 12-month thing. And they tell you to put all the bait stations down and blah, blah, blah. And yeah, they killed them. But unfortunately, they also attracted the ones into my house that wouldn't have come in the first place. But because they smelled the bait stations, they were like, ooh, party at Ed's house. And they came on over and it was like roaches everywhere. <laughs> well, at least in the kitchen. Um, and some places I didn't normally have them. And then this morning I wake up and... I go to make some coffee, and there's roaches under my fucking coffee maker and in my coffee maker, which is fucking disgusting. And then I actually, uh, I was able to kill off those roaches that were alive and moving. Once I determined that there was no more moving roaches, I took the, the coffee maker and put it in the freezer, as I, uh, somebody said to do on the internet, and uh, so that the rest would die if there were any living ones in there. Um, <laughs> no, no roaches fell out into the freezer. Checked. Um, but then I went ahead and I'm like, think, I'm contemplating still using the coffee maker. So I'm like, Let me, I'll, I'll open it up and clean it out and stuff. And uh, <laughs> so I opened it up and I looked inside and there were two that I saw, two dead roaches inside the coffee maker. I go to dump it out, and five fell out. <laughs> five dead ones. Nothing was living. Uh, and prior to this, there were no issues uh, until I bought those combat bait stations. So here you go. If, you're, if you uh, have trouble looking at disgusting shit, uh, just click off the video. But if you're used to it, here's four. Go over here. And here's the other one that fell out of the coffee maker. All right. So, um, I was thinking, hmm, I can clean this coffee pot out. It's a really good coffee maker. It makes great coffee. I really didn't want to buy another coffee maker. I got a lot of birthdays coming up, and I have a lot of stuff to get for the house, and kind of a money thing. And I was like, you know what, I have to get a new coffee maker. <laughs> I have to. It, there's no way in hell I could make coffee with this thing. Um, so now I need a new coffee maker. Thank you, Combat. <laughs> so, basically, the Combat bait stations brought a whole bunch of fucking roaches into my house that wouldn't have normally been there and then killed those roaches but they then I have fucking dying roaches running around my house and dying in my coffee pot and all this other shit and I was seeing roaches all over the place I was seeing shit that I never even I couldn't fucking figure out what the hell it was there was some fucking thing that was walking around I thought it was like a, a walking wood chip <laughs> you know it's so like, next thing you know, friggin' I'm gonna look over, I'm gonna see Birdman walking around, I mean, what the fuck, man? So, uh, don't get those combat bait stations. They, they kill the roaches, but, um, I mean, they may be good in some situations, but in, in mine, where I'm in an apartment that has a roach problem in the walls and shit, in the entire building, um, <laughs> it's probably best that you do something else. Like, I'm trying to repel them more, but I don't know that the, the, oh, great, I got a package shipped, I don't even know what it is, oh, my alarm's going off, anyways, yeah, so, use something like a repellent, the one I'm using, I'm not sure, I'm doing laundry, uh, I'm not sure that, uh, oh, wait, I'm not recording the screen, so you can't even see that shit, doesn't matter, um, but, what I'm using is not scientifically proven, but I figured I'd give it a shot, because it was cheap, it's just bay leaves, uh, some people say it works, some people say it doesn't. I don't know. I'll see. But uh, I'm trying to re see if I can repel them instead of attract them using um, bait. Because bait is uh, apparently not a good idea in this case. Although the gel wasn't so bad. Because they couldn't smell it from a mile away and then come over and like with their friends and family and all like screw and drink beer while eating bait. So thank you for watching. <laughs> Love my new apartment.